GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk radio like you've never heard it before. Bennett, and this is the Ramble. We go from now until midnight Eastern Standard Time here on the uh, East Coast of the United States. So wherever you are in this wide world of ours, figure the difference between there and here and what time you're listening. It might be live. Otherwise, what you're listening to is a recording, but that's fun too, we hope. Uh, and uh, uh, we'll be here, as I say, until uh, till midnight tonight. I don't have my uh, my lovely bride with me. In fact, if we if we go over there, you'll see that nobody uh, is uh, is uh, is sitting there. See? There she is. Hi, dear. She's not sitting over there. The reason she's not over there tonight is we decided to get a divorce. And uh, no, just kidding. Um, she uh, she uh, uh, was bit very sick this week. She missed uh, three days of work, and uh, she got really ill, terribly ill disgustingly ill and uh, uh, she was she's just like yesterday I think she slept all day and that today she was better off you know it was, it was good and then we we went to a movie went and saw the uh, Star Wars film which uh, it would be better if she stayed sick and stayed in bed than to see that thing but I'll explain that in a little bit anyway um, but uh, you know so I, I'm here all by myself and and uh, I have to uh, I, I like having her here, and I kind of miss her not being here uh, because we get into these wonderful arguments and fights and things like that and, and so on, and it, it works out be, to be pretty good. But I, uh, I don't know. Today I've been a little depressed. Uh, I'll tell you about what. Um, about Gabnet. Um, you know, we've been doing this. God, I, it's four years. It's 2013, 2014. 15, 16, 17. We've done it over four years, okay? And I have been here every night that I'm supposed to be here. We used to be on five nights a week. We actually used to be on during the day. And then we moved to the night, and then I was on five nights a week. And then I decided that that was getting to be a bit much, so I, I shortened it down to four days a week. I said, hey, this is the Internet. You can do anything you goddamn please. And um, for... Uh, uh, all that time, I have been running this network single-handedly. In other words, so far as the actual operation of it. Uh, certainly, there are people doing programs here who have done their part of the hard lifting uh, that has to do with doing programs. But there's other crap, okay, like maintaining a, uh, a, a server here that sends the signal out to... Uh, uh, to you out there so you can get us 24-7 on any one of a number of different devices like TuneIn. Uh, so I have to make sure that's running. And, and the one job that I have that I just can't stand anymore is I have to fill out these things called, um, uh, they're kind of, they're XM, they make an XML file. I'm not going to explain that to you, but it's, it's called RSS system. And I have to make these RSS things and uh, I have to fill them on every night I have to fill out one for the exchange I have to fill out one for uh, uh, in the intersection I have to fill out one for this show I have to fill out one for the video show that I do uh, and uh, then when the arena is on I have to do one for that and I'm typing these things and it's just like you know it's kind of like uh, uh, working on assembly line at a Ford plant and putting in one lug nut all day long you know and you're putting in the lug nut and finally you start going crazy. And the, so the biggest job I, I have here, I mean, I just want to do a show, enjoy the show, hope you enjoy it. And yet I have to do that little piece of crappy work. And I try and, I've been trying to figure out a way that our individual shows can post those files. Uh, and because what those files do is when I make them out, they clue the fi the uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it? Roku channel to use them. Uh, 
uh, uh, tune in uses uh, not tune in uh, uh, the on demand here uses them on my uh, gabnet.net and then it also goes to uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, oh God, my mind has just been terrible lately. It goes to iTunes, okay? And uh, so all, it, it serves all these different things. So it's like one thing serves a lot of stuff, but I got to do it every night. I got to fill out those forms. And I've tried to figure out a way that my people could fill out the forms for their own shows and then just post them. Uh, but I haven't been able to find a program yet that's simple enough for them to use. Uh, there is one that I've been using, and this company went out of business, and thank God it still works, you know. But uh, otherwise, I don't know what I'd do, but I'm looking for, for that to see maybe if, if my people could, like when they do their show, they just fill this thing out, and then they post that to somewhere else. So. But anyway, that, that uh, every night filling it out. So if you figure that I've done, you know, we've done, oh, let's say 300 days a year. It's probably more than that, but let's say 300 days a year. And it's, um, let's see, four, uh, uh, 300 days a year. That's, uh, 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 12, uh, I'm trying to figure this out, 1,200, uh, that's 1,200 days we've done shows. More than that, let's say 1,300, okay? And then 1,300 times, like, four of these things i got to fill out every night. How many of those have I filled out over the last four years? It's driving me crazy. It's, it's driving me nuts. And I don't want to complain about it, you know, but I'm complaining. Here I am complaining about it. So it's things like this. And right now I'm looking, and there are a lot of people watching the, the video for a change. Um, we've got a lot of people tonight. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because one of the things that's been depressing me is that number's been going down. And um, it's just... A lot of things I, I go, I've been doing this four years, and where are, were we then when we started it, and where are we now, okay? And really, we're in about the same place we were four years ago. This thing hasn't grown. It hasn't gotten bigger. I think it deserves a larger audience. I think the people who are doing shows, especially Jack and, uh, and uh, 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 Damien, are doing just an excellent job of, of their programs, and I wish that they had a larger audience, but I don't know how to get to that larger audience because I'm an old fart, okay, and I don't, I don't understand totally the use of social media and how to make enough noise that people pay attention to you because we've got a good little product here. We have a lot of fun every night. People enjoy it. I'm getting a lot of hearts right now. Thank you very much for giving me the hearts. Um, but, I, you know, it just, it gets to the point where I just get really frustrated by it and go, will this thing ever somehow catch fire? You wait for that day that all of a sudden you don't see, uh, like I've got up there right now, 24 people who are watching the video, but uh, all of a sudden I'll see that there are 200 there, you know, and I go, we caught on, but we don't ever seem to ca catch on. You know, so that gets very frustrating and you keep saying to yourself, well, what the fuck am I going to do? Uh, and, and is it worth it? And is it the definition of insanity if doing the same thing repeatedly, hoping for a different outcome uh, and uh, trying to do it so it, so it, really, it really cooks? And, and I don't know how to get to people out there. I don't know how this social media works that way. I'm not that good at it. You know, I was, I'll tell you what I was never good at, you know, um, at, at, uh, at Sirius XM once I was, uh, went into the, you know, my, my program director's office and I said, so am I going to get a raise? And they said, well, we're not giving a raise this year. I went, why? They said, because you haven't gotten us any publicity. And I said, well, wait a minute, isn't, isn't the job of getting publicity your job, not mine? You know, I do the shows, and then you go out and you publicize them. Well, you know, you don't get on, you're not on TV shows as a, as a pundit, and you're not, and you haven't spread our name around a lot. And I went, that's not my job. My job is to do the best possible goddamn fucking radio show that I can do for you. And... Uh, that's the problem that I've always had. You know, I'm not very good at going out and promoting a program or selling the advertising on it or those things. I'm good at doing the show and I'm good at coming up with concepts for great shows, you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, so, I, so when it comes to getting 
the word out on this program, uh, I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm perplexed. I don't know how. And, uh, you know, I, and then it's, it's, it's the other frustrations of uh, the fact that, uh, uh, for instance, we do this on Facebook Live, and you would think that Facebook, with all its, uh, its technical whiz-bang stuff, would be really good at it, but they're not. Because I find that sometimes the uh, the video doesn't hold on on for instance on uh, 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 Chrome uh, on a Chrome browser, but on a Safari browser it holds. Okay, well why is that? Tell me, Facebook, why do you fuck up like that? What is your problem, you motherfuckers? And then you know. So, uh, and, and by the way, you know, on, on the Gabnet.net page, there's a contact where you can write me and, and tell me. But tell me if, you've had, if you have problems with your browser seeing this thing on Facebook Live, because then I've got another choice, and then I could go over to, to uh, YouTube and do it live there. But the problem is not as many people know how to negotiate that as well as going, just going to my Facebook page. So it's all very frustrating, and it gets to the point where I, I say to girlfriend, you know, I think I'm going to just toss the towel in, you know. Uh, I just don't know what I'm going to do or what I can do to get a bigger audience. And, um, you know, so I'm, all I can ask of you is that you tell your friends about it if you enjoy it and you enjoy what we do. And if you don't enjoy what we do, well, and you know, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, maybe I'm blowing smoke out my ass. Maybe what I'm doing is a really shitty show, but I'm too old now to realize it. Now, that's one prospect. Uh, you know, I'm beginning to wonder whether my powers are as much as they used to be. I used to be very, very, very good at this. And I feel that uh, I, I'm getting... Let me turn on the on the air lights. See, there's one thing I forgot tonight. Uh, it, it, I, I just wonder if I... If I uh, you know, if I'm losing my powers, you know, I, mean, I am starting to become a little uh, problems with my memory occasionally. Uh, that I'm beginning to see. There are things in filling out these forms every night where I fuck up occasionally where I never used to. Uh, and it's, I think it's just it's fatigue. I'm, I'm looking forward to the week that we're off during Christmas because maybe I can recharge my batteries or whatever. But if I don't find that I've recharged my batteries, at the end of that, uh, I, I may have to, like, do something about this. Uh, I certainly wouldn't take the shows off that are on. I would let Damien do his show and, and uh, um, Jack Bishop do his show. I have to always remember his radio name. Jack Bishop do his show. Maybe I might go out and see if I can find somebody else to do another show. And I just move to the side and just you know, just oversee the whole thing. Uh, that's one possibility. The other possibility, of course, to keep doing this in the same way we have been doing it and, and just trying to uh, up the stakes a little bit, maybe make it a better, a better program than it is already. Uh, I, I, and then there's another choice that I have, and that choice, and it's something that is appealing to me. It's not appealing because I'm a tired old fart. It's appealing to me because... Uh, I think there might be a larger audience available, is to move this show to the afternoons um, and uh, run it in the afternoon. And then, uh, oh, maybe during this spot, maybe have Jack do a show or either in this shot, a spot actually do a rerun of the show that we ran earlier in the day. Uh, it, 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 there are a whole bunch of choices that I'm, I'm, I'm looking at. And I, quite frankly, would like your, your input. I would like your, uh, your ideas on, on what you think we should do, what we aren't doing, what we could do. You just go over there. It says contact uh, GabNet, and you, uh, that, that letter goes directly to me, and every one of them will be read, and every one of them will be appreciated. But I don't know what's going to happen here, okay, quite frankly. Uh, right now, I am exhausted, you know. Uh, tonight, I... Only had to do. I was I was having a party here uh, because I only had three of these shows to post because Damien was sick tonight, so we ran a rerun of his show. 
But, uh, and uh, so thank you, Damien. I didn't have to fill out another one of those forms. Um, and there's no quick way of doing it. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still looking around to see if there is some kind of program that will do it faster, better, and maybe that all the other people on this channel could use, and it would be a very simple process for them. And then they, when they put their shows up here <clears throat> or put their shows on the server, that they will also post uh, their XML files somewhere. And that would take a great load off of me. Uh, but, you know, whatever. I don't know. That's, that's the way it goes. Uh, um, you know, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm wondering about things to talk to you about tonight because every time, and this is another thing that pisses me off, every time I come on with a strong opinion about something. Last night, I came on with a strong opinion about what was happened uh, over there at uh, PBS where they seem to be firing everybody for sexual misconduct or whatever. Um, the latest one being, see, and mine gone. Uh, the, the black host they have over there. Uh, I'll remember his name in a moment when I'm not pressured to remember it. Uh, he, uh, wait a minute, I have it here in my garbage can. Wait a minute, where is it? Here in my garbage can. There we go. Now that I get the name, I have to go to the garbage can to get my stuff. Let me see. I knew I put it down here last night. Where is it? Um, uh, um, well, he was a guy that came on after Charlie Rose. Um, um, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, well, everybody was referring to what's happening now as sexual McCarthyism, which I think is a good, a good title. But anyway, um, it, it, we had the, <laughs> I, I just am amazed I can't remember the name of the host now. Oh, well, hell, fuck it. Uh, I'm not going to keep looking for it. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Here we go. Tavis Smiley. Okay, that was the name. Tavis Smiley. So last night I mentioned the Tavis Smiley situation, and I, I, I give it a big huzzah, I'm screaming and yelling, and I'm talking about how, you know, we're getting into this age of sexual McCarthyism, where it has gone from being a good thing to being something that's turned into a lynch mob, okay, in which... Occasionally, you're going to find now, more than occasionally, that innocent people are having their lives ruined by it. And um, so I, I talked about all that, how mad I was at PBS because what PBS had done, hold on a second, I've got tissue on the floor. See, I also have to do this show and clean up the place. Anyway, the PBS did this to Tavis Smiley uh, without even telling him they were going to do it. Okay, they held an investigation without bringing him in and asking him questions. Okay, that's just, uh, you heard it last night, so I'm not going to go through it again. And I yelled and screamed, and I said, don't send PBS another fucking dollar until they start getting decent about this stuff. You know, it, it, they're now just, they're just joining the, the lynch mob, as it were. And then I don't think they gave Tavis Smiley his due. Now, I don't know whether Tavis is guilty or not guilty. But he certainly didn't get a chance to prove his guilt or innocence before them and to answer questions. So what happens? I lose friends on my Facebook page. Oh, I don't like what Alex said. I'm not going to friend him anymore. Hey, I'm not here to give you a rim job, okay? I'm here to kind of tell you what I think. If you don't like what I think, there's a very good way you can protest that. We got a phone number. It's on the gabnet.net. We got a Skype line. It's on gabnet.net, which is so it's called Gabnet Live. That's our ID on, on Skype. And you can call this program and tell me I'm full of shit. But you don't have to defriend me. Oh, wait a minute. You haven't got the guts to do that, to call me. You just want to defriend me. Okay, well, what are friends for is the old question. So anyway, um, uh, I, 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 I get to hate the very culture, and I, I was listening to Damien on the show that we ran last night. I was listening to him tonight talk about the fact that, you know, some people say, oh, the, uh, the social media is evil. But he said social media has made him meet a lot of people. And I got to tell you, it's not, it's not what social media is or should be. It's what it's become. And it's been defined by the trolls. All right? It's been defined by the people who use it for all the wrong reasons. Uh, and uh, 
uh, are we going to let those people define it? You know, we live in an age where uh, Alex Bennett, well-known broadcaster who for years has run very successful radio programs, comes to the Internet and is out there just scrounging for an audience because I'm, I'm competing against 10,000, 20,000 other podcasts out there. I mean, the kind of people, amount of people that listen to this program is huge compared to what some people get, you know. So, anyway, eh, you don't want to hear me gripe, do you? Nah. Now, here's another place where I really get to feel like maybe I'm out of step with things. But today, we got tickets to go see the new Star Wars picture, The Last Jedi. And uh, we went to see it with great anticipation. We felt that it might, we, I kind of liked the last one. I felt it had its problems, but I kind of liked where it was going or what it was trying to be. And then we, uh, I thought this one, hey, it could be really good. Well, we went to it and I, you know, Michael Snyder, our movie reviewer said, it's wonderful. It's the best one since the Empire Strikes Back. And we went to see it. And I don't know where Michael gets his opinions from, but it must be someplace deep, buried deep inside his ass because this film is an example of what's endemic in our, in our, in our society today that is cu a cultural weakness. And that is that we've gotten used to the bar being lowered so far by Iron Man and this Marvel movie and that Star Wars movie and that Star Trek movie and this movie where they're all imitations of what these things once were that uh, it's so cheapened it that people who go to movies today who don't know better, who have not seen better, look at a film like Star Wars The Last Jedi and compare it against everything else they know to exist. And the fact is, it's really not a very good film. Uh, it, you know, if you want to hear a lot of explosions and you want to see a lot of rockets whizzing by, and then this is the film for you. If you want to see Jedi's fighting with each other, that's the this is the film for you. But the Star Wars I fell in love with had story. It had plot. It had it had a a goal, okay, that you were moving towards, uh, and this thing. I tried to figure out what the goal was exactly. I think it was just to get these people out of this planet to get somewhere else so they can start the revolution, all right? Uh, but it, it, it really doesn't have a, a co cohesive plot. It has a lot of little bits that are nice, like the uh, uh, Kylo Ren or whatever her name is. I don't know what the girl's name is uh, in the film. Daisy Ridley's part. Uh, Mark Hamill, who's Luke Skywalker, an older Luke Skywalker, becomes her Yoda and it teaches her about the Force and all of that. That's kind of nice. And if they had played that out, it would have been fine. But they're all over the place. And, and people are jumping off, off, uh, off, off ships that are exploding and somehow surviving. And I, it just was, I felt, it was, they call these movies tent pole movies. And that's what it was, except it wasn't really holding up the tent very well. And I was just disappointed because I, I was really expecting, hey, maybe, you know, J.J. Uh, Abrams turned the reins over to another director. And while J.J. Abrams is good at turning out product, he's not very good at creative product. And maybe this guy would give it a different spin. And so on. it just... It was more of the same stuff, you know. I let I need less special. Oh, by the way, it's also two hours and thirty-two minutes long. Now I usually don't have to pee during a movie since I took the prostate medicine. Okay, but this one I had to pee towards the ending when the thing was coming to a close because I it was so long that you know. Uh, I, I needed a pee break. They should have put a pee break in this movie or at least given uh, catheters to all of us in the audience who felt they might need it now and then or maybe an usher could come by with a bucket that you pee in because this thing is so goddamn long. Uh, and it goes on and on and on and it, uh, it, it's just, I could have, I, I see a whole part of that film that could have been cut out and you would have 
a half hour would have been taken out of it and it would have been a lot easier. But it was not, I don't think it was a good movie, but I'm sure that everybody else is going to think it was a good movie. Michael Snyder felt it was a good movie. Uh, the woman in the uh, in the New York Times liked the film, uh, and I just. Uh, but uh, the, on the other hand, I saw another review. I think was it in Variety or no? It was in Dead, Dead, Deadline Hollywood who said it wasn't very good. He gave it like a B, saying it just was you know it was thrown on the screen to make money and that was it. So anyway, uh, I I. Wish I had liked the movie, but maybe I don't like it because I'm too old to like it. Or maybe it's because I'm so old, I know better. I know that better stuff can be done. You know, when they did the original Star Wars, they didn't have all the CGI and special effects and all the whiz-bang wizardry that they, uh, that they have uh, today. And yet, they made a very effective motion picture. They made one that changed the entire industry. They made one that made the people at Disney who were there at the premiere of Star Wars scratch their heads and go, where did this come from? Because they saw a movie that was going to be a seed change in the entire motion picture industry. And, and Lucas changed that. But what happened is, is that with all the special effects, we now, they now feel compelled to use those special effects. And George Lucas years ago, when he first made Star Wars, he said, boy, you came out with a whole new way of doing special effects. And he said, well, thank you very much. And he says, very good. And he said, yeah, but you should never have the special effects be the star. The special effects should be in service of the story and that the story is the most important thing. And in this film today, Star Wars, The Last Jedi, I didn't feel there was a story there, really. It just uh, kind of framework for a bunch of action sequences. And uh, I don't think that makes a movie. And I think Michael Snyder has forgotten what makes a good movie. Uh, and so I disagree with him. Now, I'd like to tell you not to go see it because you might absolutely love it. So, And if you do, my hat's off to you. Well, then you can see my bald head and you can see what an old fuck I am, okay? Here's my Chinese cap, okay? Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, I think it's time for us to go to the uh, the citizens panel. I've been talking enough, and boy, uh, I thank you. We got a lot, a lot of really high numbers here with me just talking. Maybe that's the answer uh, to getting an audience. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I've got the uh, I got the phone lines on. I got the Skype lines going, ready to go. Uh, so all you have to do now is to call me, and uh, uh, we can. Uh, um, uh, you know, start doing uh, doing this thing. What we do is we have, you know, this thing I've invented here is called uh, GabNet, and it's, uh, the things we do are called citizen panels because I found that I could put more than one person on at a time if I was using Skype. And so now we have it where we can have a discussion among a group of people. And, uh, well, like, for instance, Phil Meyer is always one of that group of people, and I love having him here. Uh, and a lot of people will say to me, why do you love having him here, Alex? And I say, I love having him here because he's, he, he's, he's entertaining because he's such an asshole. So, well, I get a lot of requests to dump you and whatever, and I would never think of it in a moment. You know? Yeah, that's okay. Uh, oh, is there some slapback? No, no, uh. no. Hey, here comes Mike. He's always the second one in. Yeah, come on, Mike. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now we got both. You can, as you see, we got two people there. Here comes Mike. He's swirling around and whirling. There we go. No, he's whirling around. There he is. Okay. There we go. I, uh, I read somewhere in the news, heard something on the news, that Jingle Bells cannot be sung anymore. Uh, Jingle Bells uh, is copywritten, if, I, if I'm not incorrect no. about that. Funny thing is, the University of Boston mm -hmm. professors said it's making fun of the black people. Oh, is that that the reason? Yeah, you know, my black friend says, "Whoop de do!" Who gives a rat's ass? <laughs> Somebody goes, "Jingle black, jingle black." Who gives a shit? Uh, <laughs> Alex, you you've been complaining for the last half hour that uh, you're not getting uh, the audience that you want and, and so forth. Uh, 
I don't know. I, I got a very, I, I got a very I'm, large audience when I was doing my rant tonight. I got up uh, uh, probably higher than I've ever gotten on the video. Okay. Okay. Well, and, is, but is, but uh, but now it's dumping down. Since well, I, is the ramp better than fighting uh, with uh, Marjorie, or you know which one? Well, gives we, you the we get we get fairly good numbers with Marjorie, but just now uh, I hit almost forty, I think, on there on the on the meter, which yeah. is uh, the most I've ever seen it go. Yeah, but you now, know, at the end the of the, whole, at the end yeah. of the show, I get something like 300, 400 people. You yeah, know? the whole idea behind a podcast is you could listen to it when you want to. Yeah, you know, uh, you download it, you listen to it at your convenience. Yeah, so well, yeah, I, I know you want a radio show and you want it live, but um, uh, I don't know. Uh, did did you did Come you on. look at that little video I sent you on uh, on quitting and uh, on what? Uh, it was it was uh, it was like on quitting and not uh, not following through and you know giving up before you actually succeed. Yeah, well, somebody told me it takes three years for you to become successful with a podcast on uh, the internet, and I'm now into my fourth year, and it still hasn't happened. Well, sometimes it takes a little longer. Well, I, you know, I don't, I've, a ti time, time's running out for me, you know? It's running out. <laughs> You know, I, how how long do I have to do this? Oh well, he I'm sorry, he died before he could get popular. This is penance. Huh? Uh, you know, it's almost you've been here almost half of the time that you were at uh, Sirius. Yeah, uh, I never listened to you when you were on Sirius. I didn't even know you were there. Yeah, uh, N neither did I. Uh, <laughs> maybe part of the problem. But, but it was uh, also too early in the morning. You were on what five your time or eight? Uh, yeah, I was on at. Uh, at uh, your time, I was on at four in the morning. Right. So, yeah. you know, I, it wasn't happening. Yeah, I said, I said to them, <laughs> thank you very much for that one. Because, uh, hey, we're putting you on doing the morning show. I said, oh, that's great. I, I, I've spent my life doing morning shows. And then I stopped to think about it. And, hey, this fucking thing is live, isn't it? Yeah, that means that it's four o'clock in the morning when I start. Because we start at seven in the morning in California. Right. I said, lots of luck to that. The advantage to having me on in the morning would be if you put me on at a time where I was on in the morning in San Francisco. Yeah. Or, and then you went out to San Francisco and promoted me as being on Sirius. But they never did that. Yeah. yeah. So, hello, Jason. How's it going? You're looking like a wise old Jedi tonight with your beard. And, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I had to turn uh, the volume down. I was listening to you when you started talking about Star Wars. Oh, so I see it. I, I want you to spoil it for well, me. I didn't. I didn't have any spoilers in that. I just told you it sucked. That's all. You know, in my, in my opinion. See, I mean, I don't know. You, you might because what I'm saying is the bar has been lowered. You know, and that the Star Wars I know tells a story and is mythic, and this was neither of those things. You know? Hey, I, I watched tonight a few episodes. A friend of mine recommended this show called Happy. And uh, I, I didn't understand it whatsoever. There was some psychopath uh, running around uh, killing people. I've seen it listed, but I, I a little a little a stuffed animal that follows him, a little horse, a blue horse, and it seems to uh, you know I, I I don't understand. Several of my friends have said that this is the best thing on TV. Well, and, there's two. I'm I'm watching too much stuff. What is that noise? Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, um, uh, uh, I'm watching too much stuff, you know, and I, I got a list at the beginning of December from Shecky. Uh, it was an article on the 10 shows to watch this month. Mm -hmm. And I've watched most of them, or at least I have access to most of them, like Future Man I watched, which is very funny. Very, very funny. Uh, well, if anybody gets what the thing is on this happy it might be interesting hold on know. a second this guy just called dave shuck there oh we, yeah yeah dave shuck but i've got to i've got to add him to contacts here okay all right he and, probably got the new skype update huh <laughs> so he probably got the new skype update and yeah, had to let, create let a me new go account get rob alfano up here uh on uh, uh there we go there's rob there's rob okay oops okay. it was uh, we got a little slap back, and now it's gone. There we are. Uh, where, where, what were you, what were we talking? About? Oh yeah, the shows I've been been Oops. watching, uh, and so I got this list of shows. I watched Future Man, which was uh, very funny. 
very good. Uh, and there was, a, I can't remember, Alias Somebody or Another, Marjorie watched that one. Uh, Peaky Blinders, which is out this month, are going to be on, uh, on, on Netflix. Uh, what were some of the other shows they mentioned? Uh, but they you were, watched The Ranch? The Ranch? Yeah. What's that? Mm-hmm. It has uh, Aston Kutcher and oh, then, oh, yeah. uh, I the watched, other guy from I, that 70s show. I watched one episode of that last year, and that was it for me. Oh, dude, I thought it was great. Really? But the other guy, he was Hyde on that 70s show. I guess he's been uh, charged with rape with uh, all this Me Too stuff coming out. I guess he's a Scientologist and been charged with rape a few times or something, and now they are cutting him from the show. Oh, boy. It was a woman that just resigned from the Kansas, uh, a Democrat, uh, she, uh, not bad looking. She but resigned. See, there, from there the you Kansas go again. Space. There you go, you sexist fucking pig. You I can't am a say fucking... this woman, Congressman, blah, blah, blah. You had to say, she isn't bad looking either. I, I do her. Was I do her. Huh? Would you do her? Goddess. Huh? She was a blonde chicks of goddess. Yeah. And, uh, uh, so anyway, she just uh, pulled out of the out of the race because uh, one of her aides said that uh, she tried to force him to have sex with her, and uh, so uh, she she's pulled out of the Kansas state. Uh, he should have pulled but, out too. Well, you, you know, I Remember? hear the, I hear this bullshit from uh, from uh, Amy on the intersection where she goes, you know, that ninety eight percent of all assaults against somebody else have been men against women. I, and I'm and I, and I got reported assaults. What? Reported reported assaults. assaults. To begin with, if a woman attacks a guy, sometimes he doesn't figure that's an assault. <laughs> you know, um, it, it, it it's much easier the other way to do an assault. You get what I'm saying? So I I'm, I'm that statistic, Amy. You're full of shit. But then again, she's always full of shit. Um, hello, Rob. Hey there. I'm How's here making friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're just anti-Semitic. That's why you don't like her. Yeah, I'm anti-Semantic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How, how are you doing tonight, Rob? Feeling better? Yeah. You were yeah. exhausted. You, were, you, 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 you said you were really tired, that you'd been working hard. Yeah. Uh, it's... I mean, a lot of turn, a lot of turnover and tumultuous Gosh. stuff going on. So, yeah, yeah, it's exhausting. Yeah, but by the way, the other night you said something, and then we got on to something else, and I didn't find out what it was. You said that you um, uh, were on a new diet. Now, yes, I'm on a new diet. And, and now I see. I have a problem. I've I've gotten to where I I'm a hundred two uh, two two hundred and eighty nine pounds. Where I fluctuate between about 189 and 186, somewhere in that territory. But when I get up to 189, I start panicking. And then today I got on the scale and it was like 200, but I've been dieting again. Wait a minute, wait. You said 189 and then you were 200? No, no, no uh, 190, 86. excuse me. 90, okay. Uh, and I, I panic, you know, because I've got it, yeah. <laughs> you know. And the thing is that I've been dieting for the last uh, oh, four or five days and being very careful about the carbohydrates and all of that. Is it the time of year? Is there something about this time of year that uh, because the weather's cold and your body says I have to keep you warm? I think in the winter we store fats. You know, it's, yeah. Yeah, it might be a primitive thing. Yeah, well, uh, yes, uh, Jason, what? Oh, well, see, I started up being a little more serious on Atkins again. And, uh, you know, it, it was almost a week before I started losing any weight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not, you know, it's not like I've suddenly picked out and I'm suddenly that guy who you go, hey, didn't you lose all that weight? Now look at him, you know. And you know, the craziest thing too, Alex, what was your lowest weight? Didn't you get to like 180, 170 uh, well, something? Well, I, I, I got very depressed a while back and I think I went down to 179, but I didn't want to be there. So, But that was at the same time. I was, you know, I've been gaining weight a little bit and I've been trying, you know, like I said, now I'm going back on Atkins. I'm only 5'5". Five, five. I weighed more than you. Oh, <laughs> oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I, mean, I think at th- that time I was, that was about my heaviest. Well, I was at 183. I and just, then, I, uh, I, 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 I better again. start eating again. When I just started eating, I went up to like 184, just overnight. You know, it was just, you mm-hmm. get that loss from whatever. Mm-hmm. Yes, Jeff. Bread. Jeff. 
Yeah, I went down to 179 hmm. yesterday as the lowest I've been in a month or two. How tall are you? And I was are very you? happy about it. How tall are you? 5'7". 5'7". Uh, five, seven. Five, seven. Oh, see, that's not bad. That's yeah. good. Are you? Uh, uh, did you diet to do that or just happen? Uh, I have more exercise, but I'm, you know, a little bit of cautious on, on what I eat and what I don't eat. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. But uh, uh, I am exercising like about three days a week, so... Yeah. Yeah, well, I just, uh, um, uh, you know, so I, I, I worry about it, so I, I, I'm dieting again, but I don't want to diet because my birthday's on Monday and she's taking me to a nice restaurant, but what the hell. Sure. What I think it is, I found this bread down at the grocery store, this bread, and I look in the back of it, and it says three carbohydrates per serving, and there are five servings in a loaf, which means per loaf, there are only 15 carbohydrates. And I'm going, well, this is the find of a lifetime because if I can eat bread and it's low carbohydrate, but I'm thinking they, they're, they're, they're wrong with that three carbohydrates. Because, they're lying. Uh, what is it called? Because I tried looking for it. It's, it's, it's American Bakery in New Jersey. It's, it's, uh. it's not a brand. It's there. They have it on the shelf here. And there's another company, another baker, who does exactly the same thing, and it's three carbs as well. And I'm just thinking, maybe I'm eating this stuff, and it's kind of like the, what was it, the yogurt on Seinfeld? Yeah. <laughs> you know? And Where everybody you, ate the stuff, yeah, yeah. even though you're supposed to lose weight, yeah. and everybody was... Yeah. yeah. So I kind of feel it's maybe I'm, I'm, I'm in that, that, uh, that I have that, uh, that little problem going for me, you know? But anyway, so no, anyway, I want to find out about your diet because you said that you went on a new diet, and I wanted to know what it was. Yeah, it's pretty radical. It's um, <clears throat> you might have heard of it. It's the HCG diet. No, I never heard of it. So HCG is um, I, I don't know if it's an enzyme or a protein. It's something that is found in pregnant women. I think, and I've, if I'm correct, um, it's. It's <laughs> <laughs> that's not in a pregnant woman that's before she's pregnant. But it, 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 I believe it's the chemical that when a woman pees on the, on the you know the clear blue easy thing or whatever that's called right. the test, it's it's the chemical that's the, it's uh, detected in her urine. And basically, what it is is yeah. uh, the the chemical attacks the fat in your body and and if you that i get an injection every morning and then and i'm on a 500 calorie a day diet oh boy yeah but you don't even realize you're on a 500 calorie a day diet i have no appetite for i last night i i before i you know got on gabnet i had just gotten home i had to go all the way to bethesda maryland for a, a a business dinner which I couldn't partake in. I sat there and watched them eat wings and burgers and <laughs> without even uh, even thinking twice about it. Didn't bother me. Smelled good, but I wasn't hungry. Hmm. So, so, so where, do you, where do you get... Wait, hello, Dave Shuck, by the way. We'll get to you in a second. Uh, we haven't heard from you in a long time. Uh, really? uh, uh, in fact, so long that you don't. I, we don't even have you in our contacts. So I asked him for you to make me a contact and you'll... You'll do that. Rob, is that what Trump was doing in Russia with his golden shower? Yeah. This this diet? Yeah, yeah. Getting injected. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so you you you, uh, you have to get a prescription from a doctor, mm-hmm. and they send you the uh, the stuff, and they send you the syringes, mm-hmm. and it's the same as uh, the same syringes that you use for people who diabetes. Yeah. The little small, wait, tiny wait little. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Were you taught by your doctor how to shoot yourself up? No, my wife knows how to do it. We, sh- sh- I watched her. She started in, uh, she started right before um, Halloween, and I was like, "There's no way I'm taking a shot every day, and you're not giving it to me for sure." <laughs> and I'm watching her just completely melt away on this, and I said, "Okay, I'm in. I'm in." So I started uh, the weekend of Thanksgiving, right? I started the Sunday of uh, right after Thanksgiving, and I've lost 16 pounds. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you, you look so and, different. And yeah. the amount of inches 
you you drop like I've seen my wife at the weight she's at now, but I've never seen her as thin as she is because of the inches that you lose. And how long has she been doing it? Uh, she started right after Halloween. So we're gonna we're gonna st you go for forty days on this this program, mm -hmm. and at the end of forty days, you go into a phase three where you have <coughs> to add another uh, seven hundred calories to your diet. Still no carbs. Um, and no sugars or anything like that, no starches right. um, for two, three weeks. And then after that, you could if, you could go back on another round of it if you want. Or if you're at the weight now, you want to be. What is this stuff you're injecting now into yourself? HCG. H and then every and, Monday, and, and, Wednesday, and, what, and, what, and what is the component in H HCG? Has anybody it's, out there, by the way, heard of this? And the way you can tell me you've heard of it is send me a smiley face. And, I, and I'm I, reading about it. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of meals, uh, garlic marinara sauce, dill I, herb dressing. You know, I, I, I eat very simple. You're eating 500 calories a day. My wife will make, um, she'll, she'll cut up, you're only allowed, each meal consists of 3.5 ounces of protein, and yeah. that's well, twice are, a day. There are people who've heard of it. I got a lot of smiley faces here. 3.5 yeah. ounces of vegetable, twice a day, and you're allowed two fruits, so we're typically apples or oranges. So I have an apple in the morning. Then around noon, we have the lunch, which is the 3.5 and the 3.5. And then dinner time comes about 6 o'clock, and we'll have the second meal. And that could be a piece of very, like, flank, flank steak yeah. uh, with, uh, like, uh, well, asparagus. Yeah, th there's part uh, of this or, sounds a lot like a low-carb diet. It is a low carb diet, so but it's only. Part of it sounds yeah. a lot like you're starving yourself. Well, it's at that too. Uh, but you I mean, maybe it's whatever the, whatever this. he's shooting himself up with that assuages the uh, 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 the, the the hunger. It's yeah. amazing how my wife took a picture of me Thanksgiving weekend, and it looks like my face was stretched. Yeah. When I look at the pictures now, she took a picture of me. Uh, <coughs> Uh, yesterday, I went out to dinner with, uh, with. I told you I had a work thing. Yeah. I wore jeans I hadn't been able to wear in a while around my waist instead of under my gut. <laughs> wow. You know, it's just been... Well, you know something? My, 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 my wife has a picture of me when I... When she took of me when I was fat, and she loves to show it to everybody. <laughs> and it's so, disgusting. It's like it's like having a baby picture of yourself with your penis hanging out, you know? Prevention I mean, Magazine. Prevention magazines for followers of the HCG di hormone diet. Losing weight means shooting up. When dieters lose weight, it's more likely from a combination of placebo effect, calorie restriction, not hormone. However, crash diets like this can lead to serious health problems and trigger or accelerate an eating disorder. Uh, that's according to Prevention magazine. Yeah, and, well, and, you, and you know what happened to the guy who ran Prevention magazine? Uh, he died. He, right? he got a heart attack while he was on the Dick Cavett show. While he you know, was on the show, so so uh, much for so prevention this is magazine. Called, wait a minute. It's called human uh, colonic uh, gastrotopophen, or HGC. It utilizes hormones to shed unwanted weight. Uh, they're typically used to boost fertility and pregnancy. Yeah. Some so I swear by it. Uh, the weight loss is very controversial, and it has many drawbacks. Another good diet I heard of is Coke. Yeah, yeah, always, always, yeah. You, can also, you can also find a ton of negative information about Atkins if you look. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So no, I'm not looking for the. I, I you know I just you know I, I looked uh, you know just looked it up, and I I want to know what the drawbacks do, were and what happens to people when they stop it. Do well, a I, YouTube it, search on yeah. it. Yeah. And, and take a look and watch the people who are on this diet and, and as they're going through it, a lot of people uh, record uh, blogs, video blogs of their experiences and how long they okay. kept it off. And, what happens yeah. when they get off of it? So there's a, there are, there's a phase three and a phase four. Phase two is this where you're, you're injecting every day and you're 500 calories. And then phase three, you get it, you, you go from like at 500 calories, you know, you're not injecting anymore to like 1200 calories. And you, I think it's three weeks. And my wife knows it backwards and forwards. And then after that, then you start to 
get your your diet back to normal where you uh, start to you know bring carbs and sugars and starches back into your diet little by little. Well, your new what? house your new house will certainly look bigger. Yeah. Your new your new house will certainly look oh. bigger. I mean, I can't believe how when I when I just just looking in the mirror, it's I walk by a mirror and I go, holy shit, really? I mean, it's really it's been three like like. You know something? Else? I got to tell you something. There's something very strange uh, when you when you lose weight, though. I mean, I lost a lot of weight. I lost 55 pounds. Okay, 55 pounds. Sometimes it's 60. It fluctuates. Uh, when I first looked at myself in the mirror, I mean, the, when I knew that I was losing weight is when I couldn't keep my pants up because they kept falling off. We had to go down to the gap and buy new pants. And then I, was, I had been using 40s, and I was getting into 36s. That's how much I had lost. And, and the thing was that I looked at myself in the mirror, and I went, I really have lost weight. Of course, you know, there's a lot you of sagging as a result of it. But you don't realize you're as big as you are. I, I, I didn't because... realize I was as big as that photograph that she has of right. me. Okay. Right. So uh, all of a sudden, I'm looking at myself and I'm thinner. And so I feel thinner. Now, after I've had the weight off for, God, it's almost got to be three quarters of a year, I don't feel, I feel chubby now. <laughs> You know, because your mind gets used to the new thing. And when you're just a little bit overweight, you know, but or, three quarters of you, this is like year two, isn't it? You started your diet, not last Thanksgiving, but the Thanksgiving before that. Yeah. Did I? Yeah. yeah. Because I, that's how I did the diet. You know, this last year I put on weight and it was like a year or two ago that I did it and I lost. Yeah, a lot it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't a year ago. So I've had, actually had this weight loss for about a year. Oddly yeah. enough. So, you know, so I, I don't think I'm going to put it all back on immediately, but I don't want to go crazy either. Hey, Dave Shuck, let's talk to him for a second because Dave he looks like he's lost weight, too. Right. <laughs> well, I, I, I can't really say. Yeah. And we, haven't, ta we haven't talked to you in a long time. <laughs> I've been gone a long time. That's true. That's true. I'm glad to be back. Um, I was uh, I've gone through two jobs and am currently unemployed again. Uh, but uh, hey, well, congratulations, which, which is just, why I'm just, able to be here. Just in case you haven't heard, I'm still unemployed, too. So, well, yeah. you know, that's a, uh, it's, sometimes that can be a benefit yeah. because you're not working for assholes. Well, you know what? You What happens you at my age? You're forced to retire. You know, it's not uh, like I want I would love to. I'd love to be working at a radio station somewhere, but if I walked in and I said, hi, I'm Alex, they look at me and they'd go, uh, you, you know, and uh, he's too old, you know? Yeah, that, that's not fair. That's not fair. You are still, I still think that you're, you're entirely relevant, which is why I'm back because I still, I've been, I've been, uh, I've been stalking you guys uh, listening in the background <laughs> to yeah. recorded mm -hmm. episodes, but yeah. uh, uh uh, I'm finally at a spot where I'm like, well, I have no excuse to, but to say, hello, gentlemen, I'm back. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, where do you live? Kansas yeah. City. Kansas City. So, Kansas City, Missouri. Yeah, Missouri. Yes, oh, yes Missouri. Jeff. And That's what Jeff kind of Jeff. jobs did you have? I'm an IT nerd. Oh, yeah. You ever um, try with AT&T? They're hiring a lot of IT people. There's a lot of jobs available out here, and most of them suck and i'm not willing to work for an asshole and that's the that is really causing me a lot of trouble there seems for AT &T. Yeah. hey you know what I I, got, you know what i heard I, today speaking of of things like at&t and big companies you know this whole merger this whole buyout rather that disney did uh, is going to do of 20th century fox or 21st century communications is what it is um it's they they're buying it for 52 billion dollars Mm. Guess who's going to be the number one stakeholder, number one uh, 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 stockholder in Disney? Rupert Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch. That's why he <laughs> did it. That's why he did it. He's not giving up shit. Now, nope. let me tell you more about this. <clears throat> Just a second on this, Jason. Want more about this. To begin with, they have to get this approved by the, uh, uh, you know, the, the Justice Department, okay, to make sure the merger is all right. It's not even a merger. It's a buyout. That The buyout's okay. If the government doesn't go along with it, they owe Murdoch $2.5 billion. 
Win win. <laughs> uh, Murdoch ain't stupid, you know. Uh, and do you know who the second largest stockholder is in Disney? Uh, I Comcast? What's his name Eisen or Eisen? Yeah. No, no. Think about it. Think logically about it. Spielberg. No, no. no. You got to think really. <laughs> when I tell you, you go. Of course. Lucas. No. Steve Jobs' wife. Yeah, I oh, yeah. was thinking Steve Jobs, but no, I said because Dad. when he when they sold Pixar, they sold it for stock. And who owned Pixar? Steve, Steve Jobs. Jobs. She is the second largest stockholder, and they say that what Rupert Murdoch is going to do is once this merger, the merger, this buyout takes place, he's then going to move his people in to push Iger out and run the company. <clears throat> So it's really more a thing that you've got Rupert Murdoch, his tentacles are even getting deeper into this society rather than, oh, I'm just selling this thing off because I'm going to sell this thing off. Well, you have a scared <laughs> look on your face, Patrick, and you haven't said anything all night. What do you think? I, I mean, uh, without any spoilers on, on the Star Wars movie from the feedback I got from people that I know, mm -hmm. Um, it might not be a bad thing to uh, tap down Disney's um, their tentacles and let Fox come in and move their their, their stuff around because uh, a lot of people mm -hmm. want mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> pardon me yes Jason so, you know, with the uh, Fox and Disney, that totally is, you know, where they want, the government wants to talk about monopoly. That's one company taking over their competition. Where with AT&T trying to buy out Time Warner, that's not taking over competition, <laughs> which I, I do understand with, you know, everybody's fear of, uh, of the um, net neutrality going away. But AT&T, because we've had, we've had inside stuff on this for a long time, you know, it, telling us why they're doing it. it it's all about advertisement we are because at&t went from a communications company to an entertainment company and now they basically want to be an advertisement company mm -hmm. and the the amount of advertisement that we're going to be able to have they call it um uh footprints or whatever was like a hundred billion and now we're going to go up to 700 billion just by buying well, but, them and that that's it's all about the ad you know the ad I, space. I don't know if you were listening last night but we brought up the fact that with uh, the um the whole thing with uh, net neutrality all these companies are buying up entertainment companies i mean comcast owns universal you know, See, and, and I, I agree, but I disagree with what your argument has been on net neutrality because you know it's you know part of it. Part of getting rid of net neutrality is actually a good thing. You know it, what Rob does. You know what the, the the quality of service that you know that's part they couldn't do it before. You, you know, there's times you need to slow down certain things to be able to speed up other things to give you a better no, overall. No, not not, not, not today. Not today. Uh, yeah, yeah, Rob, yes, Rob today, disagrees. Rob there's dis only Rob, so much bandwidth. Rob, I'm just looking at Rob. He disagrees with you. He's nodding his head now. But he'll disagree, but I've heard him make my exact same argument a week later after he disagreed with me. What do you mean? Because I, I, you, we've sat there and we've talked about net neutrality and we've talked about quality of service. That that's what you do. But AT&T is not allowed to do quality of service for their customers. Quality of service inside of your organization. Inside in, your, your okay, own. But me, as a consumer... I cannot do quality of service. You don't need to do quality of service. You're never going to have that kind of. But I do need to do it when I'm looking at all my neighbors and I'm looking at my city and I'm looking at my state and I'm looking at, you know, everybody else that AT&T put or, you know, I'm sorry, I can't say that company, you know, the, the, because that's the one that I do know of, you know, wanting to do. If I slow down an email for a second to speed up a, a phone call, mm -hmm. isn't that not worth it? That's not net neutrality. But that is net neutrality. No, that's not you net can't, neutrality. Under net neutrality, you can't do that. Can't yes, do you what? Can. If you no, have you can't. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Can't do what, Jason? 
you can't slow down an email to speed up a phone call under net neutrality. But don't you, you can't want... sit there and say that this is this kind of that's service correct. and that is that kind of service. So I'm going to treat correct. this one differently. And also, than the you, other and one. also, so an electric company can't say to you, "Listen, we're going to charge you more for the use of an electric blanket than we are for the uh, use of your oven." You know yeah. that, that that you get one bill and that's it. Jason, do you think with net neutrality, you're going to be able to control what you slow down and speed up? No. And I have to rely on the company that I am using to use that properly. You, you're, you know, you're thinking, when you think about quality of service or QoS or slowing down and speeding things up, they're not going to do it for your convenience. They're not there to say, you know what, Jason okay. needs more bandwidth for Netflix, so we're going to slow let's, down. Let's, his, uh, let's, let's, it's not about me. It's about what everybody is let's using. Give because Jason. if I can slow your, your okay. Netflix down for a half of a second at the very beginning okay. to buffer, but make your voice call or make okay. uh, you know, let me something say like this, this better. Let me say this, Jason. Okay. Comcast owns Universal. All right. Now Disney wants to come out with their version of Netflix. And they go, well, that's a competing movie company, so we're not going to even let them be on our ISP. Well, no, or, they'll let them. Or, because or, you or, or, them, or they're going to are, tier. Are they going to say to Netflix, hey, Netflix, uh, if you want to be on our ISP, you're going to have to pay a nice, huge, giant fee in order to do so, and then your Netflix goes up five bucks a month. And I understand your argument, and that's what's been going on in the news right now. And I think that is worst case scenario. No, that's not worst I, case scenario. That's, that's the way America does fucking business. I think you're drinking the corporate Kool Aid because your company wants it. AT and T just raised uh, the Direct TV rates, or said they were going to today. I just found but out. Direct TV has nothing to do with it. I thought it still runs on the web, though, doesn't it? No. no. No, no, it's a satellite. No, AT and T. Oh no, no, AT and T. Uh, Net, uh, Direct TV has a uh, an app that have an app. Th that that you pay for. You pay like it's like Direct TV now if you want. Direct TV now, yeah. It's it's free. It's not free. I think no, it it, it, it costs it costs I think fifty customer. It's free. fifty bucks a month or something, doesn't it? No, your your Direct TV no, app is free. Your, with the app, your Direct so. TV now is different. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's not the satellite service. Yeah, no, you have you have the satellite service, so you get it's like I get FiOS, so I have a FiOS app, and I can watch all the FiOS programming anywhere I want to. Yeah, but yeah, then yeah. there's but a the Direct TV now direct, app is yeah. different than the Direct TV app. Yeah, so they have oh, that. Okay, you know. I, I, but I, it's, it, it, you know, like I said, and that's where you were making your argument about, you know, these companies are buying out these other entertainment industries because of, it's not, we've been talking about for, you know, a couple of years now. It's about the ad space. That's what we're buying. No, but no, for. but no, but you know, and but, when but, but the now, one company now it's, who sits it's, there and has a, a, you know, national presence to be able to say, I'm not going to play this game. They're going to be the winner. But, and the, but so the maybe point it's is, my the, company. The, maybe that's why I feel differently about it. The point it. is if you're, if you have an ISP and then in each city, your ISP, this may be only sometimes one ISP, maybe two ways that you can get the Internet service providing. Uh, in my case, it's Spectrum, and there's Fios. Uh, and uh, that, that's it. And so if, if uh, either one or both of them in collusion with each other say, we don't want to put Netflix on here, let's start our own, okay? They can now do that. That, that's a very short term argument because I think that uh, your internet isn't even going to be hardwired and, you know, not I'll tell you, too it's far already, future. It's already affected me. My, they just raised my, oh, uh, starting the first of the month, they're raising everybody who's on Netflix $2 a month because that's they the see, they, they see that's inflation, though. No, no, no they man. see the writing on the wall with this uh, it net neutrality. Expanded service, what was it, 4K or some other kind of thing? Uh, you you subscribe to something that cost an extra two bucks. Yeah, for four yeah, well, K. Mine, mine's going up from like eight ninety nine. No, but to no, but it's going up two bucks beyond that, Phil. Yeah, I got oh. the same thing, Alex. I got the email. Yeah, mine's mine's going up to ten dollars, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was a couple months ago. We, we're being joined no, by by Bree, uh, Just, who is in Dubai. Uh, you there, Bree? Uh, he's going to have to call a second time. That's what happens with him. Th th this is a, f a, a royal flush, right? Once we get Bree on. There yeah, is. there's Bree. Hi, Bree. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hi, how are you? So, I mean, Netflix 
Just flush. <laughs> <laughs> the only time we let him use the sound effect, folks. There goes my paycheck. Phil, come on. <laughs> Not even a flush. They're going to slow that down, Phil. Yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> the the thing is, what, what I'm saying is, is that you say, well, that's a worst case scenario. No, it's not. It's American business getting greedy like they always do. I mean, do you really expect that uh, that these people are going to be I, totally? I do think that some of the companies are going to try it and they're going to fail miserably. Uh, we'll see. I think if they all try it, then well, first fun. of all, we got to see if not if they're the only not if they're the only uh, uh, game. But it, in, it's in not. Your area. There's not that the, the only game in the area. You got to think about your cell phone. Your cell phone has unlimited data on it now. Five G's coming out. Five G's coming out. You know, five G's out right now. Actually, it's in this has nothing areas. to do. You this, can almost no, get a gig minute, off your cell phone. Neutrality has nothing to do with uh, with what the speed of your phone is. But right. but it Correct. does because when. When you have 20 different cell phone companies out there and one decides not to do it and others are doing it and people are going to say, fuck you, I'm going to this other company because they're not no, doing but, you know, this. We've they're always, not playing they've this always, game. They've always, they've always, we'll all do it. They, no, but what if they all do it at the same time because they're colluding with each other? Of course. But, but that would just be dumb, you know, even under no, no. You know, if uh, every, capitalism. If, if, that if, would be if, dumb because one company is going to say, I'm not doing it. I'm going to give the customer what they want and then everybody's going to go to them. You know, They're not going to they, reduce you, the speed. You're still going to get crazy fast speeds from these companies coming into your home. The problem is going to be on their backbone. They're going to they're going to put different services and they're going to have tiers of service. They're going to have a cheap tier. They're going to have a mid line tier and they're going to have a really fast tier. And if you want to be on that fast tier as a provider. You're going to have to pay through the nose. And then that's where you're going to have to pay for your Netflix. That's Otherwise, like the electric they're going to be on a shitty that. tier. It's not about what's coming into your house. This is all about what they're going to do with the services that are on coming into their into their environment to push out to customers. So it'll be like the electric company. When there's a big demand, they put you on a bigger tier. Well, right. I don't know about demand because it's going to be the demand will be how much you pay them. Look here, here, here. Well, here, here like here. during the day when business is going okay. on, there's a lot L more. Let going. me talk about the reality as it exists right now. There are two realities. Number one is this hasn't become the law of the land yet. There are people oh, there. They, the FCC said it's the law of the land. There are now people who are filing lawsuits to prevent it from happening. So it's going yeah, to be a while. States doing that. It's going to be a while before we ever see what happens with net neutrality. Right. But secondly, um, uh, you know, you've got to realize that uh, Netflix uh, uses, is responsible for, I read somewhere, 43% of all the Internet uh, traffic. Uh, right. B. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and what's going to happen is these ISPs are going to go, well, if Netflix, you want to get Netflix, you're going to have to pay a premium. Well, right, you know, you're already, you I'm, or, I'm already paying Netflix $14 a month when they have this raise going, right? Because I'm getting the 4K. So uh, am I going to want to pay another $5? I mean. You, you will. Well, you will. I, no, here's, here's what Whatever. I'm. When, when cable television came out and the bill was $28 a month for cable TV, who'd have ever thought that you'd pay $150? Here's what you do. You the box that one here's, what, here's, sure. here's what you do. <laughs> At that point, you cut the cord, okay? Mm. You only take their internet service, and then you buy all these various things and say, I'm not taking your TV stations. I'm not taking all this other crap you're giving me. I'm going to go I'm, get that a la carte. But it's going to be too you know? expensive. Yeah, that's just going to happen. They're going to have to expensive. Hulu, or you, the prices are going to go up for all of them. Mm -hmm. If you're going to have a Netflix and a Hulu and another, you're going to be paying $20 for this one. It's not going to be $7.99 or $13.99. And you'll be saying, when I was a boy, I, I used to pay $9 for Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> the most important thing that people seem to be missing here is we're all going to have to start paying for porn. No. <laughs> thing. That yeah. will Wait a minute. Pay, pay, please pay. face the fact we're going to have to start paying for porn, and that's going to be the end of Western civilization. Well, I paid for porn. <laughs> I got a hand that's like almost falling off here. <laughs> hey, I got a new phone today. Did you talk about, talk about dri driving us off into the ditch. Okay, yeah. So you I got told it. you he needs a sound effect. So you, you, you got your Apple X, yeah, right? 
Yeah. Oh, and we're so fucking impressed that you were one of the stupid people who bought that thing. The the stereo speakers on this sound wonderful. Well, that's great. I, that's I wish great. I was one of the stupid people because that you, could you're that. you're you're going to just sit home and turn on your phone and listen to your music, aren't you? Uh, when I'm walking, I listen to it. But no, you put on the earphones. No, nah, you, you got to plug in something to plug and, in. And the when earphones. you tried the face recognition, did it say you're too ugly to have it work? <laughs> uh, it. it oh, boy. Uh, yeah, I, I, set up the face recognition. I guess it works because it turns on when it says face recognition and I point it at myself. Doesn't crack? Uh, well, uh, the tempered glass. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I've got to send it back because they're sending me a new one in two days. There's a little round thing on the screen. And uh, here, you can see it uh, maybe. Yeah, yeah see yeah. that little round thing? Yeah. That's a deep yeah, yeah. screen. That's a what? what it's a defect in the screen. Oh, no. great. You say you got your phone, it's a defect in the screen. Does that say anything about this product? <laughs> they they, they're, they're, uh, their quality control sucks. And, you know, so I got it today. Jeep, Jeep, it Jeep, Jeep, Jeep. Well, wait a minute. Yeah. Turn, turn it on. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what the screen looks, looks like. Exactly you can't. Like the old one. Oh, we'll he already ruined it. This jism. So, what can you say? Uh, so, 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 well, that's great. I, you, I got the same phone cheaper. Yeah. Well, uh, it's uh, <coughs> the case. The back of it is, uh, it, it's really good looking phone. And it's, uh, it's until you put a case on it to protect it. So, in case you drop it, yeah, you put a case on it and then it looks like every other phone. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, it's got as big a screen as, um, as my uh, old plus. one, but it's smaller. So this oh, is the back of it. It's like a it's like a, a glass. It's like the phone four was. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's uh it's it's a nice phone. Yeah, it's a I'm nice a phone. phone. Uh, you know, if there was any way I could get out of the Apple ecosystem, I'd do it. But I'm so embedded into it with my watch and my iPhone and my iPad, and they all talk to each other. And if I suddenly went to Samsung for my phone, then it couldn't talk to any of those things. And that's exactly one of the things we were talking about last night about companies who try to shut out other companies. But it, that's okay. It, if they cared, I, if I'm they cared, being... Samsung and Apple would say, "Well, we want our stuff to talk to each other." Yeah, no, then it's there's no benefit in going with one or the other. You know, why would I? Why would I want? Because to they a make company? a better product. Because you like their phone. Because you're an, there's an idiot born every minute who will buy an iPhone X. Yeah, <laughs> and we're all I looking know. at them. Well, I, you just I, need I to have somebody who will develop the app to make the freaking uh, one talk to the other one. Yeah, yeah. Now, I could see the iPhone and Apple X if it blew you. That would be a good thing, you know. Oh, it does. It has a dual camera in the back. Yeah, to yeah. Blow you. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, okay, so I, we've, we've well, completely I, I just, driven off the road here. Hello to... Uh, you know, the, the road was one less traveled. Yes, yeah, right. Uh, Bree in uh, in uh, in Dubai. How are things there in Dubai? Well, uh, pretty good. And what's the weather forecast for today? Uh, well, we, we uh, actually they in the entire country they say we're going to have some little bit of rain, some mm -hmm. fog, but uh, here in Dubai, uh, I don't really see it. It's like eighty degrees and sunny. Oh, okay, uh, that's reasonable. What is it in New York, Alex? What, what is it in New York? It was 24 today. Yeah, I was freezing all day. Yeah. yeah. It was cold. Yeah. Did you guys get hit by that snowstorm that we just had a day or two ago? Well, we, we mm -hmm. got a snow, a snow. It wasn't a storm. I mean, by the day afterwards, it was all pretty much gone. Okay. Uh, uh, Same thing with you up in Connecticut, like right, uh, Jeff? Yes, plus it was snowing tonight. And it was snowing today, yeah, and, so and it's probably not going to stick for very long. No, you know. I, I, I agree with you. Yeah. We had six inches drop in one day. Yeah. Um, That's one reason I don't ever want to live back east. Really? I like the snow. I was in New York before. Yeah. So anyway, it it it, uh, it, uh, it so that's what it's like in Dubai. Uh, we're we're getting ready for our new tax uh, break. Uh, all the money we're going to be getting back from the government. It's going to be terrific, isn't it, guys? I spent it already. Huh? I spent it already on this phone. 
<laughs> oh, I see. Okay. Is it going to pass, you think? We're getting taxes here. Well, it looks like it's going to pass, but, you know, it's still by such a slim margin that if, if one of these Republicans wants to get nice, to begin with... Did you hear they, what uh, Bree just said? What? He says, we're getting taxes here. I guess you didn't have taxes in Dubai? No, we, we've never had taxes for anything. But uh, starting in the new year... I think it's 5%, and it's a value-added tax, so it's going to be on, you know, certain oh, goods. Oh, 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 so this is Thanks, on goods. Thanks, Trump. Well, no, but this isn't yeah. like an income tax. tax. It's a sales tax. You never had a sales tax there before? No, we never did. How did they yeah. pay yeah. Oil. What happened? Why did they well, assume? Well, the price of oil's been going down over the last several years, so I think that this they had consultants you know, coming in over the past decade and they've, they've, you know, outlined what they need to do in order to stay, you know, on top of things. And so they've been doing a lot of different things like, uh, having different energy, uh, capabilities, increasing tourism, and then adding this 5% tax. Yeah. Gee, they would have, uh, they'd have had a, a stocked bank, you know, just to, for the, for the, for the bad times, but I, they they spent like crazy there, I guess. Well, no, they still have it, but you know they're just looking ahead. So so when you have a salary over there, you don't pay taxes on it, right? Correct. What happens if uh, you get sick? Is there a, is there a health system there? Um, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I have I have medical. You pay for and it. I, I, yeah, um, <clears throat> my employer pays part of it, and then I pay part of it. And uh, I also have insurance for that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. What what so, happens? Uh, are you affected at all by the taxes in the states because you're a U.S. citizen, or is your entire income uh, uh, in, based in uh, uh, yeah, Arab Emirates? Um. As long as I don't go over a certain amount, uh -huh. you know, then I'm okay. And, yeah, so then I don't make a lot. I'm not a, you know, I'm not in the gas and oil business. If I were a gas oil business thing, I'd, I'd probably be making a lot more. Do you pay into Social Security and all that? No, I used to do that. Um, I used to do that, obviously, when I was in the States. But what they do here is, um, every year they give you at the end of the year they give you one month's extra salary. Oh, really? But, but what are you going to do when you retire? Are you, unless you're staying in Dubai? Um, no, you know it's funny because when I moved abroad, I didn't really think about the ramifications of that. But the good thing is, is that I started working when I was really young, and so I already have uh, a retirement fund that was already doing really well. So I guess it's okay for now, but I do have to start rethinking about that. You're right. Yeah. So I always think about that now at my age. Tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, 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 everybody has to think about their, their health care. And um, a lot of people just don't – now with this new uh, – law with this new uh, wonderful tax in, uh, thing we're getting in which by the way all the corporations that are getting the tax break this is goes on forever it doesn't expire but the tax break they're giving you and me uh that expires in eight years yeah but you better continue to erect elect trump and then expire but, well i will tell you get yeah, uh, in singapore kill it Better get used to eating shit. Oh, I'm sorry. No, Please I think the ahead. best thing to You're do is let's let's uh, <laughs> let's let's make sure a lot of Democrats get into office in the midterms. And let's make sure we get a Democratic president next, and we can just get rid of this tax law. We'll do what. Uh, uh, there's an idea. Trump did to Obama, and just undo everything that Trump did. Well, what if everything Trump did works? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there we go. Wait a minute. Bill, wait a minute. Hold, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Hold, 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 hold on a second. Phil is the new Isaac Asimov. There probably won't be a Democrat he is, to he is run crafting, because they don't He is crafting science fiction. Yeah. 
Now we'll go in and fix the Democrat, the Republican bullshit that you know, it's just like it's always been done. They'll come in, they'll do what they're going to do, and then the the country, like it was after uh, eight years of uh, GW. Well, somebody will come in and fix it, and then the Republicans, after eight years, the Republicans will take the credit again, well, and then they'll, up again. Into, you know, into the into the fence again. Yeah. By the way, Alex, have an yeah, iPhone wait ten. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, bring. Yeah. <laughs> fuck your iPhone ten. Sorry. Please continue. Yes. Uh, yes, yeah, bring. I just want to mention, Alex. You know. Uh, I guess it was a week ago when Trump made his Jerusalem announcement and you guys were asking me, you know, how things are going to go. And if you remember, it was only like 12 hours after and we were just waking up and nobody knew. And well, now we've had some time and I can tell you that at least in this short term, it's been absolutely devastating. Uh, no one around here, I mean, I, and maybe it's just in the short term, but everybody is like, Okay, the U.S. is out of that process. We're not. We're in, that's just that's just done. See mm -hmm. you later. I think Pence had to delay his trip over here. I don't know who he's going to meet with because no one wants to meet with him at all. Uh, supposedly There's Tillerson. Just, supposedly Tillerson was going over there, and they didn't want to meet with him. Maybe no. he should with ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> won't get him back. Give him a tour. Hey, come see our I'm telling you. <laughs> that it's really, it's really yeah. hurtful for us because the view towards Americans is just oh, it's yeah. really bad right now in this region, and it's not going to get better. Well, you know what's horrible yeah. is that it, it, when it, when it's bad for Americans, of course you're an American, so it affects you. Uh, Absolutely, it, it, that's it the point. It affects yeah. you and the perception yeah. people have of you, and yet. It's a mis. It, it just like it is a mis. Uh, 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 nomer for the for the president of the United States to paint Islam with one brush. It's similarly wrong of Islam to paint all Americans with one brush because I don't think most Americans agree with the president on this whole thing with Jerusalem. You know. Um, yeah. Well, most of the world doesn't either. Right. I mean, I know that as an American Jew, I ain't traveling to any of those countries. All right, <laughs> because and, and if you notice the uh, the commercials on TV, have been trying to push a lot of Jerusalem trips. Have you, do they do that out there in the East Coast? Yeah, they got that Tel Aviv Jeez. Jerusalem commercial. Yeah. With Gal Every Gal other commercial. Gal yeah, they're uh, Jer Jerusalem, Tel Aviv. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, that's a hell of a time. You want to know something? Hot chick walking you around. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a Jew. Do you know that? Have I have you uh, have I explained <laughs> that I'm a Jew? Really? Put that hat on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm a Jew. Uh, and uh, the worst uh, the, uh, the worst idea I've ever had uh, that anybody could propose to me is let's go vacation in Israel. I don't want to <laughs> yeah. go there. It's, yeah. To begin with, I'm surrounded by Jews. That's the first problem. You know. You're in New York. It's no different. Yeah. Well, no, it is different. It is it's different. New York with palm trees. Because They're he, bad Jews. Because I got to tell you, the Jewish women in New York are hot. Oh wait a minute! Excuse me. I'm Did gonna... you see that commercial? I, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't gonna derail it like Phil does with that. With you know, say something about the girl that's dragging you around town. But yes, she is. I haven't seen that ad, so I have to see it. And get, oh really? And get yeah, some... it's it's kind of obnoxious, really. Yeah, but I mean, I uh, 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 you know, I always found the women the women in New York exotic. I'll tell you what the great thing was when I first came to New York. I'd always growing up. I always had trouble with dating and stuff because I was an odd kind of kid. My father was a musician, you know, and that, that was one thing. And the other thing was I was Jewish, where everybody out on the West Coast were goyim, all right? So girls didn't find me attractive because I didn't look attractive to them because I was Jewish. I moved to New York. I'm getting laid left and right. All of a sudden, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I'm one of the people. And, all of it, and also, it is this, what can I call it, this cornucopia of absolutely gorgeous women in New York. Am I right, Rob? Even at 18, they look like, yeah. like fashion models. Lunchtime, you walk, yeah. you walk, Lunchtime walking around Manhattan in the summertime, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, and what you've got is you've got women from all over the world. So it's this exotic blend 
of humanity here. And uh, so when I came to New York, I just said, yeah, I'm, that's like I'm home. I never felt home in San Francisco, but I feel home in New York. And really, it was where my mother was from. So she kind of like created the New York angst in me. And uh, I, I, you know, there was... The, the, the Jewish women in New York are fine, and they're and by the way, can I also say that Jewish women, I think Jeff will agree with me on this one, uh, were one of the best lays I've ever had. I mean, I had some great sex with Jewish women, and but there's that old joke about you know how to make a Jewish woman stop fucking, marry her. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> What's what's though with the accent in New York? And I know I have. A New oh, York. that accent turns me on. I get a boner here in that accent. <laughs> Not Phil's though. I was just gonna say <laughs> Phil's just <laughs> saying. Talk to accent. me, Phil. Talk to me. Oh, Phil. the thicker, the thicker, the better. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go get some coffee. You know? <laughs> yeah, and that coffee. comes out of some beautiful woman. I mean, some you know, drop dead gorgeous woman. Hey, uh, you know, you want to get a cab and get some coffee? Yeah. You know what you put in a, in a in an egg cream? Seltzer. Yeah. Seltzer. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Well. Uh, how you make dinner? How? Make reservations. <laughs> oh, yeah, you <laughs> make reservations. Yeah. Right. Oh, man. But, uh, you know, I, that's, uh, that's one of the reasons I love New York, you know. Uh, but I don't want to go to Israel. I'm sorry. I just, you know. Um, uh, I, I understand the women are hot there, too. Mm. Well, they really? may be hot, but they, they all know how to yeah, use it. Yeah, because they don't have air conditioning. If the Arabs had air conditioning, there'd be none of these problems. <laughs> well, you know, people, you know, somebody, what, what somebody told me, well, there used to be a saying once, Freud said it, I think, that biology is destiny. And women hate that. They hate that. They hate Freud for that reason. But they also said that uh, geography is destiny. That you grow, if you have a certain kind of geography and you have a, a certain kind of, of, of temperatures in a particular area, you, 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 you grow into that. In other words, it, it, it determines who you are and how you live and so on. So, you know, I, that's why Simulate I... Simulate or die. Well, with a guy like Bree, I say to myself, uh, you know, how how does he get along in all that heat when he's not from a place that was particularly hot, right, Bree? Oh, I stays think, inside. I, uh, yeah, I think he left for a second. Yes, Jeff, you had your hand up. Yeah, I I went to Israel I'm, I'm twice. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and I enjoyed it. I I thought it was a great place to go to. Yeah. I I would recommend for a lot of people really? to go yeah. there. It's sure. very interesting. Today, I think I would enjoy. Well, you know, you have to decide what week you want to go. Or what, <laughs> you know, yeah. I mean that's Didn't that's the same thing with going to Spain. Okay, uh, you know, well, I've gone to Spain six times. Well, but, I love Spain. I just right, love. but you would think about uh, a couple of months ago it wouldn't be a good idea to go. To I don't know. I I'm all for. They would love me in Catalonia because I'm all for separation yeah. into it. I, I I'm on the Catalan state. You know, uh, so uh, I, I I don't think it's that dangerous. Oh, yeah, there, there we go. We got Bree. The Castillos. Now we have a picture on Bree. There's Bree <laughs> in Dubai, ladies and gentlemen. There's there a go. shot out his window. Wait a minute. There we go. We yep. There's the shot out his window, so that everybody knows we're in Dubai or Dubai, 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 Dubai right? Yeah, we'll just say Dubai from now on. Oh, okay. Uh, Bree, that window kind of empty today. Uh, Bree, does that window go down? Yeah, it's Friday and Saturday. Ah, uh, okay. What's uh, that? Is that a floor to ceiling window? Clearly. Uh, it's a door. Oh, it's a door. I have a balcony. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have a balcony. Oh, you see? Okay. Uh, yes, Ma uh, Mike, you have a question. Yeah, in New York, isn't it uh, different parts of New York have different types of accents in New York? Sure. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, Queens, you, different than Brooklyn. Yeah. 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 If you're from the Bronx, you talk a little bit differently. Yeah. yeah. But it, I'll tell you, that's not that unusual across the entire United States. I knew somebody once who who actually could sit there and listen to somebody and tell them where they were from within a geographical specification. Yeah. That that if you live like uh, where uh, uh, you're in where Maryland is, it uh, Rob. <laughs> 
Virginia. 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 If you go to Virginia and you go to one side of Virginia, there's a different accent than there is in another part of Virginia. Am I right? Yeah, buddy of mine's from Maryland, and he says uh, he says gasoline. Gasoline? I hear it. Gasoline. Look, gasoline. West Virginia. Yeah. The accent is different here in Winchester, outside of Winchester, from where it was when I lived in my townhouse. I, I notice a, a huge difference in the way people speak you, here. You know, yeah. you know why West Virginia sounds so different than, than regular Virginia? Because oh. they don't have any teeth. <laughs> see, well, see I, could, I could just tell there was something horrific coming from your mouth. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> laugh. Thanks, don't, don't laugh. Because it was oh, open. Oh. Yeah, don't laugh at him. But he's right. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, uh, so uh, uh, how's the tax thing going to affect each of you, or don't you know yet? Because I asked my uh, accountant, and he said, actually, I'll be better off. You know, but I I still don't want it. I would rather that every American, uh, I would rather the businesses not get the tax cut they're going to get, and forever. And that Americans, as a whole, get a bigger tax cut, better benefits, and it goes that goes forever, you know. Yes, uh, Jason. I think because they're talking about uh, income levels, that I should actually the higher income levels should actually get a tax cut, which I'll meet that you know cut off. I'm above that. I should get a tax cut. But I'm not for it either because, you know, they always want to sit there and bitch about Democrats saying that they're tax and spend, tax and spend. Well, Republicans just keep on, you know, proving themselves again and again. They're borrow and spend. You no, know, stop mm. borrowing and spending. And if you're not investing, well, you know, in here, here is the thing. Uh, here's the thing that I always believe. Here, here's, here's the thing I always believed. The Republicans were supposed to be the guys who were good with money, but obviously they suck. Because they they go they go let's ta let's let's uh, lower taxes but we won't figure out a way to make that money to take care of the uh, of the deficit. Why don't who we balanced, the who's the last president to balance a budget? Bill, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. And who Clinton. knocked that budget out of whack pretty damn quickly? George Bush. Ah, defense rests. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was Newt Gingrich that did it. Don't, don't. Trillions of dollars to the deficit to to give the businesses these tax breaks. And and there's like almost an exact dollar for dollar. They did the same damn thing in Michigan that they're gonna tax more onto the lower incomes and give that exact same dollar amount tax cut to the rich. Yeah. Well. <laughs> It's unbelievable. It really is. Supposedly, I, I, I was hoping it wouldn't pass because of some of the old Tea Party guys who just wouldn't have the te the deficit get raised that way because they're supposed to be more fiscally responsible. But I guess everybody's worried about politics now that if they don't do something by the end of the year, it's going to be worse than passing the whole well, and Cruz just proved it. You know, any of these Republicans, if they want something, they should just ask for it right now. Say, I'm not going to vote for it. Unless and you give me this. That's what. Uh, uh, and then I think that's what's going to kill it, because I think a lot of these guys are going to start realizing that and be like, hey, I want my pork. I want my pork. And then it's going to blow up. Well, you won't find a Jew saying that. OK. <laughs> yes, you will. Yes, you will. Just secretly. <laughs> yeah. I'll have lobsters instead. You will have lobsters instead. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, I had my business manager over the other night. Uh, he was in from California, and he is kosher. He's pure, utter kosher. Wow. You know, you don't meet many people like that these days. And uh, uh, she, my my wife didn't know what to serve for appetizers. And I said, yeah. she said, but, you know, I, I can't have, uh, I can't, uh, can we have some uh, salami? And can we have some cheese? I said, just as long as they're not on the same plate. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I mean. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, I, I, I was talking to my business manager and I said she had this problem and I said hey, you ever go to somebody's house and this happens I've had this happen in my lifetime where you go over to somebody's house and they say we're inviting a Jew over to dinner let's see if we can make him eat pork <laughs> and I always disappointed them because I love ribs and I love bacon oh bacon every morning bacon you know mm. my, my heart has a lining of bacon around it you know <laughs> Yes, uh, Jason. Your heart's wrapped in bacon. 
So yes. I, I I didn't realize this until like a long time afterward. I had a buddy who's in the military and uh, he was serving overseas. Yeah. And it's illegal to send them pork, anything pork over yeah. there. Yeah. Well, I sent some uh, hunter sausages, you know, and I thought they were beef or I didn't really pay attention to what the hell they were made out of. And then, you know, he got them and he loved them, ate them up. And, uh, you know, I looked at the package afterwards. It's 100 percent pork. <laughs> Wow. It's like, oops. Oops. Oopsie. <laughs> yeah. No, I love bacon. I love uh, I love uh, shrimp. I love uh, lobster. You know, those are all, you can't eat, you can't eat lobster either. Uh, you know, you can't oops. eat crab. Any of the, what they call the bottom feeders or what we call trafe. And uh, a lot of people. Remember don't... the Seinfeld episode where George uh, sneaks the lobster into the morning scrambled eggs and gives them to Jerry's girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, who's right, kosher. Right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Because she saw him with the shrinkage. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I was coming out of the pool. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, it's crustaceans. Very funny. Well, crustaceans. Yeah. it's bottom feeders. It's uh, yeah. scavengers. Well, fish uh, that, uh, like, um, what, what do they call it? Catfish? Carp. And things well, you, you can't see, have. People don't understand. No. The, 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 by the way, kosher is the same almost. You can have carp. Kosher is almost the same as uh, uh, halal, uh, which is the the Muslim version, the uh, Islam Islamic version of of kosher, and it comes from the same like thing. Rabbi. I mean, uh, you know, the two religions are offshoots of each other, uh, and um, and people and people don't people don't understand that they were health laws, that if you violated them, forget about God getting even with you. Nature would get even with it. It would kill you. Yeah, pork uh, trichinosis. You, you know, it was you didn't eat pork because today we eat pork because we know how to handle it. We know how to cook it. You know, so modern refrigerations made a lot of big changes. Yes, and also uh, lobster and crab and things like that. You could get red tide disease. I mean, there were some horrible things you could get from eating. So, so kosher laws were created as health laws, but they. I, they really no longer apply, and today those people who adhere to them are adhering to them for religious reasons, not for health reasons. And that's just what I just hate about religion. You know, yeah. it's just, it's really dumb. You know, you have these rules, you know, yeah, there are thousands, you know, just like right now, that you say you should wash your hands after you go to the bathroom. Is that going to become a religious rule, you know, a thousand years from now, or maybe you go to the bathroom a different way? No, but it'd be nice if you did it. It's a <laughs> If it was a Mexican rule to wash your hands after you go to the bathroom, a lot of people wouldn't get sick in restaurants. By the way, I took a picture today. I don't know if I can show this through the camera. That's a Trump comment. I got, I, got, I, I got to show you this. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can uh, if I can find the picture and if I can even show it here. Here we go. I will now blow it up. No, that's not how I want to blow it up. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. No. That's what you did to your new girlfriend. No. Um, here is look. Look at this. Can you see that? Now that, that, uh, a locker? that we can't. That's you had the wrong that, camera. Little, move it a little over. Okay. It's, I'm, I'm first. I'm showing the audience. It's a package downstairs. Okay. I'll show you guys. Can you see that? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. It's a bo box downstairs, and the sign above it says, "No packages to be left in this lobby." <laughs> Please take them to the apartment. Uh, and they, this is the second day in the row. One of these people has left a package right under the sign. So, did you hear about the guy up in Washington that uh, to put together this little device with 12 gauge shotgun blanks? No. To where he puts them inside because he keeps getting stuff ripped off from his from his porch. Yeah. Well, he can go up to the box and move it around. But as soon as you pick it up, it detonates the, the blank inside the box and scares the shit out of the guy. Oh. <laughs> it's funny as hell. He's actually, you know, making these things in his garage and selling them. Yeah. It's That's... just a little device that you put inside an empty box, and it, I guess when you pick it up one way, it triggers the, the shell inside. And... Until somebody decides to go ahead and put a, full, a real 12-gauge shell yeah, inside exactly. and blast somebody's head off. Yeah, exactly. And then, and then somebody. By the way, strangely, just, some alien in trouble. Or something a little bigger than a 12-gauge, right? I, I, I just saw something here that, that uh, in my headlines coming across on my phone, that the corporate alternative minimum tax 
and the Obamacare uh, penalty are being eliminated in the GOP tax bill. Now, why the alternative minimum tax uh, for corporations? Why not for individuals? It was always terrible for everybody. That was the one thing they, they should have gotten rid of, and they're just getting rid of it for corporations and not for people like you and me. Because we're not paying the we're not paying the politicians enough money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, we're not seventy we're not giving percent them the of all the taxes are paid by the corporations. This is going to be an albatross around the the Republicans' necks. This policy. So, uh, you know, at, I say have, I say have at it with this tax bill. Okay, yeah. because what's going to happen is the average low paying, missing a tooth person from Alabama who voted for Trump is going to suddenly see that he's not he's paying more taxes than he was paying and he's going to go this is fucked and if he's, yeah, well, if he's willing dear, to dear, dear. if he's what because these guys don't want to admit shit they didn't make a mistake yeah he, no, he's going to be no, confused no. They, that's why they're still standing up saying more was more is falsely accused just because he wanted to sleep with a 14 year old girl who didn't <laughs> uh, you know <laughs> well, if they just vote to lower the age of consent in uh, in Alabama, I think that he could get away with it. See, they, so it's somebody else's fault because he just wanted to get a nice piece. All I hey. know, all I know, is that it's proof positive to me that something was wrong when you get banned from the mall. <laughs> you know, it takes a lot to get banned from the mall. And where your wife, you met her at her high school dance. Yeah. 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 When you were in your 30s or something? What? Yeah. Yeah. I noticed Matt just came online. Matt, if you're going to try and call us, don't, because we've got a full house, a royal flush here, and I can't accommodate one more person. Uh, because it, 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 it is calling in? I wanted to argue the other side of net neutrality. You want me to log yeah. off? I like Matt calling. Oh, well, uh, if he does, maybe I'll have you hang up. Okay. Tony, but we'll, well, let's wait and see if he's going to call. There he is. Okay, hang up, Tony. Uh, good night. Uh, let me. Good night, Tony. Good, night, Tony. good to see you, buddy. That was nice night, of Tony. Doggy. That was nice of Tony to do. And uh, he he oh, Matt, how are you? Hey. Good. To yeah. see. Give every, us a Litecoin. Yeah. By the way, thank. Literally, th thank, I sold my Litecoin. Um, <laughs> literally, every no. time I get on to Skype, yeah. it's updated and it looks completely different. By this the way, tell, uh, t thank Tony because he hung up so you could come on. Yeah, oh, this thanks, new Skype thanks, really okay. sucks. He, he, didn't, he didn't need to uh, hang up for me. Well, poor guy. Well, he needed to because if we didn't do that, we couldn't fit everybody in. See? It, it, uh, I thought it, it can hold up to like 15 people now. No, but I'm something. talking about on my screen for the TV thing. Oh, oh yeah. gotcha. And then I have to reapportion the screen and it gets all out of whack and then I got to set it back afterwards. So, you know. Plus, I found that more than this amount of people and it gets so unwieldy. That it's, you know, like Patrick's hardly said anything all night, but on a night where there are only like four people, he'd be jabbering away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Has an argument By the way, what is that? What is that sound it's in the Jeff, background? Jeff, you have like so I much background noise going on. Microphone. Me? Yeah. Your, your circle has been lit up all the time for me. It's like a TV on the background. There, you just muted. Yeah. 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 Anyway, what were you going to say, Matt? Matt? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, oh what was I? Oh, that neutrality Christ. thing. You were going to argue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. Everybody's fallen for that uh, net neutrality. Such a great thing. Well, explain it. Oh, it's... please explain it. So, all the, so the ISP is they're absorbing a cost. So for somebody like GapNet, you're going to have to pay the same amount of money for somebody like Netflix. <laughs> Do you think Netflix is operating in twenty billion dollars in debt right now? So of course they don't want to pay a a, a penny to to an ISP uh, because wait a minute, they take up. Wait a minute! I you never know, heard anything about Netflix being twenty billion dollars oh, in debt. Google Google it. Netflix is twenty billion dollars in debt. But all right, so so what's your point? So what? There. So my my point is that the cost is the cost. You're not eliminating any cer certain costs. The ISPs are paying that cost. And for smaller ISPs, uh, it's the local governments that are, uh, it, it's so much uh, paperwork and it's so hard for the smaller ISPs to get in to compete with the larger ISPs. And the ISPs don't even need, the larger ISPs don't even need to innovate or do anything. They're actually, if you look at it, they're spending less money on, in, on infrastructure improvement over the last three years. 
because of net neutrality, because they don't have to worry about the smaller ISPs trying to compete with them. Netflix, I mean, you are right, 20.54 billion. Everybody in, drink. In, wait a minute. <laughs> in you know, in long-term debt, okay? In long-term exactly. debt. Now, I don't know. But what the, the thing is, if you're arguing against big business, yeah. What the fuck is Google and and Facebook and Twitter and all? They're big business. It's they a proxy are. war between big well, business. Well, here's what I'm and, here's what I'm worried about. Okay, uh, here's what I'm worried about, and then I will I will we have some hands up here. Uh, 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 is that I'm worried that Netflix has been established and it was able to establish itself from nothing because of things like net neutrality. What's going to happen got, now? Wait a minute. What, what's going to happen now neutrality. is they've, they've got the leg up on everything. Okay. They've got the sure. leg up. And now if somebody else wants to start something, they won't have the same advantage at starting it that Netflix does. All the people who are already there now are going to be okay. Yes. Uh, uh, Jeff and then right. um, uh, Bree. Jason. Uh, Jason, excuse me. Jason and then Bree. Yes, Jason. Okay. So me first. Okay. Um, you know, th that's one thing that I. Uh, you know, I was asking one of these guys that I work with at my company that I work for, you know, why don't we have servers? We have all these uh, central offices where it used to be filled with all these equipment in order to make uh, telephone calls. And then, you know, they've upgraded all this equipment. And now what used to take four floors of a building, take one room in this building. Why don't we put servers in all these rooms? And they said, because of regulations, we can't put the servers in there. But, you know, if we had servers in all these rooms, you know that are closer to the customer you make the, the internet even better but you know i think with getting rid of the net neutrality and also the telephone companies being deregulated we will be able to put these servers and actually my company is talking about putting servers in there so it makes it closer to the company and they're also going to be starting to put servers into cell towers too so it's going to make the whole internet experience a lot better and a lot of getting rid of net neutrality is just doing quality of service for the customer to be able to give them a better experience. Okay. Uh, Jason, I just I mean, hold on a second. Like, hold on a second. Bree had his hand up next. Yes, Bree. Yeah. Uh, well, so Alex, what will happen is I think Netflix will have to merge with one of the major internet service providers in the U.S., like Comcast. So Comcast will just like Comcast did that historically. If you look the cable companies, what they did was they went to MTV and they said, look. Uh, if you don't sell to us or become part of us, we're just going to block you and create our own version. So essentially, they just all merged. Everybody just started putting there, you know, percentages. There's already there's rules in place for for monopolies. No, no, and, there's uh, no uh, rules. Uh, the Ogalopolis rules or whatever the fuck they're called. There's no rules now. Trump will approve everything, and the FCC will add whoever whatever agency will approve it or he'll fire them or stack the deck Trump say he wasn't you, th gonna... you thought there were rules there are no rules now. i'm i'm the government and i'm here to help i have one example I'm there is there has been the over the last everybody hold years, on my, my brother I'll lives in show. europe he comes over here and says our internet is shit yeah. He lives in Europe. He comes over here and says our internet is well, shit. Well, how is he this going to make it any better? How is this going to make it any better? For, for, well, for one, for smaller ISPs, well, for by the way, more by the way, in the, they, have, yeah. they have spent less infrastructure. They go, and, oh, we're so big. And, and people you, are going to pay us no matter well, what. You, you, what, know what in, else are, you know what, in fact, they have in those other countries that makes it so good? Net neutrality. <laughs> not, not all countries. They don't. And if you if you think people are going to start charging you five dollars a tweet or whatever, you're not. And by the way, my my, my my internet service is superb. Okay. You want to know why? The... And you're in New York City. Of course, it's superb. Yeah. <laughs> you you want right. to know why cell phone service sucks here as compared to the rest of the world? Television at one point when it was the old NTSC sucked here. And because and why the internet might suck here as compared to other parts of the world, because our systems were de all of that was developed here, and all of that infrastructure is much older. And so when these old, when these little piddly ass countries started copying, they did it with newer technologies. That's the only reason. And that and is London, not, a little piddly ass country. Not that infrastructure and update it. We had NTSC 525 lines. But of television for so many years when 
when all these new countries who decided they wanted to do TV. More of your, what's, least, encur what's encouraging it with Comcast and Verizon? That's all you got. I mean, it's like it. Comcast and Verizon net, are like 80% of the that's market. Why net neutrality is bad because it is restrictions. It restricts people from investing in the infrastructure and improving. Exactly. Oh, the bullshit. They're going to invest. They're either going to invest. Hey, they, Alex. They, 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 business. They're, they're still, not, they're still not going to invest in it. And they're just going to be able to keep more of it. Well, that's uh, that's Alex, what they're saying. Right. The reason for net uh, okay. neutrality. Hold is on, they hold on, invest. hold on. I got to do be a little bit of a cop here. Uh, yes, Matt, you had something to say, and then Bree has his hand up. I, I no, I'm I'm good. I'm okay, good. Bree, Keep going. Alex, yes. We're we're not going to know for a while. We're not going to know for a while how it's going to affect. But let me ask you a question: How did the Telecommunications Act in the late '90s affect radio? Ah, yes, exactly. Exactly. It's, it's, I, I, I think I, 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 I said that last well, night wow. to Phil. You're comparing radio and internet? Hey, Are you yes. kidding me? Radio is it, it, it's, it's, it's the same. It's the radio same. Wait a minute. It, no, no. Are insanely popular uh, look, right you now. Talk, you got to talk. They're insanely popular. I'll tell you something about podcasts. Right now, when I went and got the files and I got a faster pipe here, everybody told me the sound, the sound of the show was clearer. OK, yep. once the net neutrality goes into force and they decide to ratchet me down, it's going to sound worse. Why, you, why would they you're ratchet so you small that it's not even going to affect. Oh, you. it will affect no me because I'm going to be... love your show. I listen to you every day, yeah, but no. it's not going to affect you. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, no, know. They'll, they'll go to Netflix and they'll say, hey, look, you're using 80 percent of our bandwidth. You got to. And that, that's money. one thing, that too, you know, with the company that I work for is the, before uh, Netflix was out, Comcast used all like 75% of the, our bandwidth that we had. Why couldn't we be able to charge them more? Because they were using so much more of our internet. Exactly. Charging, Making no it, sense. You're going to wind up. The money is always Rob, there. The Rob, bandwidth Rob, is always there. Yeah. It's the ISP is charging you directly. For that bandwidth, yeah, Rob, they're they're subsidizing Rob, everybody. Rob had, if, no, Rob, hey, hold it, everybody, hold it, hold it, somebody hold else. it. That's Rob, the whole thing. Rob, oh, oh boy. I'm losing control here. Rob, you had your hand up. I'm, I'm just I love saying Rob, that though. you. I'm just for saying. What it's worth, well, I love hey, Rob. hey, please be quiet and let Rob speak. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. You keep talking about why should this company not be able to charge this and this. Let everybody charge what they're going to charge, and then you see what your monthly bill is going to be. This is what is going to happen. You're, you're going to be outpriced. You're going to be on some little shit service, way worse than what you have now, because it'll be what you can afford. The sky is falling. The I sky I, is, I, 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 think we, I would love to have this discussion two years from now and see. It won't you, be too you know, and I, I agree to a point, but if that's the case, you know, then the government should run the Internet. You know, it should be I should be a government employee. That's how it started. I think that the internet uh, servers, uh, services from these ISPs should be considered a common carrier and should all be carried at the same rate as any other. And that it, uh, you know. Yes and no, but, but because let me, when let me you say this. Let me say this. To the no, let me say this. If you, if you do away with net neutrality, then I want to see these, ca these uh, cable companies not be considered common carriers and then we can turn around anytime we want to when they do something wrong and sue them and they'll be so far up their ass with alex, suits alex you, you know what there's there's something else that was under the uh the obama regime that had a great name the affordable care act and how, how has that worked out for a majority of americans 23 it's, million it's been people not not wait a minute. listen li listen li not hey hey matt matt quit listening to fox listen to rob say um, it quick rob um, and then we gotta go wait a minute, wait a minute. rob what rob, rob was saying something rob my premiums have gone up five times i said rob has something to say <laughs> and they would have gone up 10 oh jeez, i can't control <laughs> no, this rob go, go rob go rob 23 million people have insurance today that wouldn't have had insurance in this country. Can any of them use it? Yes. No. Yes. They can afford to use it. You can go to the hospital. If you've got it, you can use it. Yeah, what about the $15,000 deductibles? Oh, These people You're don't have... You're about your $1,000 with uh, yeah, United. Yeah, yeah, enough with the Fox fight. Uh, it's not the fox, it, it's the truth. No, the, yeah, I don't know anybody that's got $15,000 deductible, Phil. There's people on the bronze plan. Uh, well, <laughs> anyway, hey, listen. Oh, boy. 
I told you it gets unwieldy when we have a crowd. It's a good talk. Here. Yeah, no, good show tonight. Makes me want to keep show. doing this, which uh, in the beginning of the show, yeah. I don't know if I ever want to do it again. Mike, thank <laughs> you so much. Jeff, thank you so much. Patrick, you've been a little quiet tonight, but I know it's been hard to get a word in edgewise. Um, uh, Kevin, thank you. I appreciate it. Bree from uh, Dubai, thank you for calling tonight, as well as Phil Meyer. This is going to take me forever to sign off just naming everybody. Uh, <laughs> Jason, thank you. Rob Alfano, Dave Shuck, call some more now that you have again, okay? Don't and forget Matt, Tony. Matt, we love hearing from you, and Tony as well. Everybody, why don't you give them a big wave goodbye, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, that's it for tonight. Uh, let me hang up on them so that um, the next show can use the line here. Uh, yeah, we have a party line here. Remember party lines? That's, uh, that's a long time ago. Anyway, I'm Alex Bennett. We'll see you again tomorrow night. Uh, not tomorrow night, excuse me. We'll see you again on Tuesday night. Uh, next is uh, the... Uh, intersection with Jack and Amy, followed by Connections at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. In the meantime, I'm Alex Bennett. See you on Tuesday, same time, same station in life. And if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye.